Okay, welcome again to this tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we saw how to install uh, Typhoon, downloading it, um, and once you have downloaded it, using the GitHub or via website typhoon.ugent.be. Uh, uh, so once you have Typhoon installed on your, web, installed on your computer, uh, we can now start to use it. Uh, I already have it open, but most of the times, uh, drag it here. Uh, it will be on your computer program files. Gens University, Typhoon, and then we go into application. Uh, if you want to use it, I mentioned already in the last tutorial, if you want to use it and have full possibilities to use it, we have to run it as administrator. That will be the only way how we will be able to save and load files. So it's pretty important that you do this uh, once you start it up. Um, it takes a few seconds to, to start up. Um, here we have it, uh, and this is the Typhoon main screen. Um, so um, maybe a quick few, your, few words about this main screen. Um, depending on your computer, on your screen size and your resolution, uh, this might change and might not look so good. Just put it on full screen and, and drag it and drop it a little bit until you have, like, you see all six of these tabs. Uh, maybe a few words about what these tabs are. So first we've got some dialog box. Mentioning calculation, it tells you whether calculation or not has started, whether the calculation is busy, uh, if the calculation was successful or failed, it will all be displayed here. Here we got some information about the geometry we have, uh, whether or not the geometry is loaded, which geometry is loaded, or whether we created a new geometry. Here we get some information about the state or condition. So have we loaded the condition, whether or not, uh, and also, if there is a new geometry or a geometry load, what the trim angle is, what the elevation is, and what also speed through water is, it will be displayed here. Um, the fourth tab is geometry. Um, once we have a geometry loaded and a state loaded, we can generate a mesh, and this mesh will be displayed here. Um, uh, fifth, on, uh, fifth tab is results tab. Once we do a calculation, these results will be shown here. So we got forces in X, Y, Z direction, the same for the moment, and a lift and drag coefficient. Once we perform a dynamic stability analysis, the stability matrix will be shown here. Uh, we also got four menus. So we got a geometry menu. Uh, this geometry menu uh, allows us to create a new geometry from scratch, so an entirely new geometry. Uh, another option is to load an existing geometry uh, and if there is any currently loaded geometry, it will be replaced by that one. Uh, and also added to the geometry, this, uh, this function only works if we have a geometry loaded or we have a new geometry. So there has to be uh, geometry inside the memory to be able to add it. Um, then another option we have is the state. We, have to, we can create a new state, we can load a state, or we can add it to state. Again, only if there is one loaded. Um, if we have a geometry and we have a state, we have everything to create our mesh because now we know how the craft is lying in the water, uh, what the elevation is, what the trim angle is, so we can then generate a mesh. So it's very important that we first have a geometry, we have a state, and then only then we can generate a mesh. It's also only when we have a mesh that we can start doing calculations. Uh, firstly, we have an option to save it, the calculation we've just done, or we can open the calculation we've done before. Um, the other things what we can do is we can perform a static calculation. So the static calculation uh, performs a calculation to current state, but it does not take into account mass and external moments, which we can define inside of state. Uh, the next option is a static equilibrium. So calculation of a static equilibrium, what this will do, it will change trim and elevation to find a force and moment balances with the external moment and the mass of the craft, and it will balance this out to make sure that this force and this moment will be zero in the longitudinal direction. Then we can, once we have done that, we can do longitudinal stability analysis when all this is about, and the stability uh, matrix will be shown in this field. Okay, uh, on to the next one where we'll try to make of a geometry.